seguir, morir es seguir. They have heavily nerfed Lewis Sarah's accent. Well, let me turn this down. Well, the correct user here. Yeah. Hello, Otis. Oh, the or oh, beefy or oh, beanie. Whether it's beef or bean, I enjoy the footage. Hmm. Let's see if I can load this up as kind of like a little dashboard for myself. Okay. Oh, Cage, sorry. Hello again, Mr. Cage. Doesn't matter if you're Johnny or Nicholas. Right. Every Cage I'm is welcome here. Take a look, but Baby Eagle is your priority. Ooh, Copy examinables. That. Making my way to the church. Condor 1. Hmm? Nani? Is that the desired route? That's very different. Oh, oh. Interesting. I'll have to remember that. What's the run again? R1. Stupid run, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, the puzzle solution from. It's been like nearly a full week since I played this. I played a bit on uh, Monday. And I've been hectic, hectic, hectic all week. You ever heard of the Grip House Gym in Glasgow? Who are the Grip House fellas? It's a familiar name. There was a guy. It was Barry Gibson. The fighters only guy there. That dog. Take care of yourself, buddy. It's just general demeanor so far. Apart from Leon. Leon's still cool. It'd be interesting to see what Salazar's like. I hope they've doubled his camp. Maurice McEwen, Paul McVeigh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good gym, good gym. Box stump. Handgun bullets. Is this back to the village? Oh yeah, it is. Some money I didn't even touch. When will you train UFC? So currently I train cage warriors. That's a big escrow. And I want your pistols. I have trained Bellator. I currently train cage warriors. Everything goes well. I will train UFC. Hopefully this year. Are there any cancelled fights you wish you could get back? Whoa. That's very different. Oh, boys. <laughs> oh, you fucking twats. But yeah, many Ben like that would have been a very difficult fight. Oh, fuck you. They have such big teeth. Oh, oh, that's a knife kill. Oh, I'm out of knives. Oh. All right. Switch this bastard. Bomb that one. Handguns are rubbish weapon for a dog. One down. You can't pick up whilst aiming. Oh no! Go on, you. Ah, 
Ay, carajo. Oh, he ain't dead. That was very different. I enjoyed that, but my butthole did not. Wow, this is proper different. In the first game, this bit's just so chilled, you're just racking up ammo again. Picking up eggs. Like you're gonna cook them like you jack pepper. Oh, and I've got a small key. For some reason, I thought that would have been... Oh, the treasure map. Treasure? Oh yeah, I'll have to come back with Ashley for that. There's a lot of come back with Ashley. But does that block the church? Yeah, it does. That was a sound. Yes, with you. That nice push. And there's a beeping sound. Ooh, dodge. Front row in Manchester? Ah, oh, critical hit. Ooh, beside the inspection zone. Will I get a fist bump? See, I've noticed people on the way to the cage before, but I'm in a very much a zone, so if I don't. Don't think it's any kind of slant at you, a slate. Possibly, possibly. Nothing's guaranteed, but a bump may be spare for you. Did I mean to put all this money around, or did I just forget it myself? What if I... <laughs> Would I be allowed to have a bite of Palmer before I step in the cage? So where am I going here then? Or would I go through the other way? This is an interesting conundrum. Too much care. You take it personally if you didn't get a fist bump before a title defense. I, th I think I'm going to have to give this fist bump. <laughs> give Leasley a bump on the chin when he walks by. No, give him a kiss. This is very weird. It's playing music at all kinds of weird times. Oh. That's an interesting development. This is throwing me for a loop, like a good remake should. I mean, I know this is... Are you going to treat Liasi like Jan did John Dodson and grab his Africa? See, that's a good, good idea. Speaking of leaking game plans, and Dodson. The Demetrius Johnson versus Dodson fight is a big study for me. I like to have these similar studies before my fight, and that's a really good one. Johnson versus Dodson. Top three games of all time. Oh no. Not this one. Um, Doom Eternal. Possibly... OG Resident Evil 4. This could be good. I haven't completed it yet. And, uh... Ooh. It's a hard choice. It's a hard choice. Maybe Devil May Cry 3 or 5? God Hand. No, God Hand. I like MMA Guru. I haven't watched as much stuff though. I'll give that guy a stab. I need to have a bit more of a binge watch on MMA Guru. Oh. Nice stealth kill, Leon. He's a funny guy.
I like me so. Um, it was a funny video he did on us. I think my favourite videos that have been done on me by anyone are Eric Matty. Eric Matty, I'm very, very honoured to have Eric Matty videos about me. Eric Matty MMA, most of his stuff is TikTok. But um, it's really, his backstory is pretty heartwarming. I don't know what his his lore is. I don't, I don't know much about the MMA guru personally. the snake but do I get an egg bullshit guru was paralyzed from the waist down when he was in a street fight as a kid I never realized that what in the fuck that's crazy And then is that kind of his outlet for it? All the e fighting technique. MMA guru Taekwondo phenom despite being crippled. Yeah, there's still punches in Taekwondo. Remembering not to not to reload this on instinct, because if I find a merchant, oh boy, I'm getting free ammo. Sleep well and flourish, dear child. As your body grows, your mother's shall sue new small clothes. So, at seven quintal of wheat and half a bull a day, you have outgrown your peen. Flourish, dear child, for the sake of your brothers and sisters who cannot. I wonder where this treasure is. Is that a gigante skull? Yeah, I wonder what. Look. That's not a treasure, is it? That just looks like some fucking raggedy. Oh, there we go. Velvet blue is not a treasure. Velvet blue is very standard. And that they're in the village already is very strange. Call them shells. Oh, fucking hell. Why is he grunt like that? Sick of constantly running out of ammo. Well, I've got a treat for you. The bolt thrower is something else. This evil within. So you can keep shooting forever. Also, don't forget to buy the bolt recipe. Do you train twice a day? Every day, except for Saturday. Saturday is once a day, but it's hell. To turn your extra knives into a ball. And that's not all. You can affix the bolts with attachable minds. Mmm, that's interesting. Oh, he's not, he's not crippled. I thought he was crippled. I've got some new items in stock. <laughs> Come take a look. What's it? Wait, let me look at you. A dear friend of mine is gravely ill. Sell through, sorry. It's pretty much forever. I do that the same in and out of camp. Welcome. Got some rare Bye. things on sale, stranger. What do I even get? Yeah, that's all that. That's all Ruby's that. all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice to make. A deal Ooh. well struck. Come back. Any Can I affix an emerald to the mask? Yeah. No. I don't understand shapes. What are your thoughts Welcome on the dippiest fighter, Khalil Rowtree? Lumpini Roundtree. Junior. I like some Lumpini Roundtree in my life. I like anyone with a... Your weapons are in good hands, Bruce Lee Dazzle. stomp to finish oh, yeah. someone. <laughs> oh, Was that Duplices? No I do not have enough space for a... a bolt. You get some bang for pleasure. I don't have enough space for a fucking bolt Brad, door. Welcome. I got something new for you. I'll sell you a viper though. I 
I knew you were a go-getter. Gotta come back. Did he ever get his pizza? No one will know. Any... Did she... Did... Does Dean even know himself if he got the pizza? No one will know if he's ever got that pizza. I need to craft some shit. Start to craft work. Fucking jays. Eating porridge right now? Uh, half two in the afternoon? You must have some evening ahead of you. See, I can't buy this mine thrower. I've got no space. Time. Welcome. I <laughs> just woke up. Even prouder of you, son. If you want a fighting chance out there, you best tune up your... See how that feels, mate. A fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. Trade. There's some things pleasant travel. Nice strange little differences in this game constantly. But I like a mid-afternoon porridge. I tend really tend to have a porridge at three o'clock and that's my last big meal before I fight. I'll have some oats so simple oats to go thing in the jig. That'll be my last proper meal before the fight. I'll have dark chocolate. I'll have some dates. Maybe some banana in it. Some raisins. No treasures. That's the problem with the treasure map. It just makes you constantly stop and check. What are you... <laughs> well, I'm not a Anthony Smith fan. But I would probably word it in a more political way than my less political brother, Harry. Do you rate Bisping as a commentator or Dan Hardy? I find Bisping just a little bit annoying, to be true. I find most of them annoying. Do you not get ammo for... Did I upgrade the capacity and not get ammo? If I did, that's a total BS. But my rule is if... Yeah, I upgraded both these capacity. Bullshit. But my rule, if I had a rule, is if you own a podcast, if you run a podcast, you should not be allowed to commentate fights because you go into podcast mode. It's very tedious. Listening to you talk about comedy hour and go on all these sidetracks whilst... Well, I'm trying to watch people fight for their lives and not get their brain cells smushed. Ah, oh. Over right hand. Bullshit. At least I've got one of these. Cunt. Paul Felder is underrated as a commentator. Fuck off. Paul Felder can suck a mangy penis through a straw. Shut him up. He just... He makes these terrible jokes all the time. He, he just acts like he's there. He just deserves to be there. Same as DC, same as Bisping. I can't stand any commentators, apart from Brian Stan and John. John Annex is the best play-by-play -play guy. But most commentators can't stand. It's like, you know, when one championship upload these fights with no commentary, and it's ten times better. That's what they should do. You know, recently there was this political thing with uh, Gary Wars. No, Gary's Lineker. Um, it's just the truth. It's just the truth. <laughs> Dominic Cruz. He's just... I don't mind Dominic Cruz, but his voice is well annoying. But it's just the truth. McGregor could be fight, as well as the Andrade Namahunas fight. That was a big faux pas, wasn't it? Nope. Can't slam her. Can't slam her there. Dunk. Hmm, the church. Oh, everyone... Everyone in the run-up to this fight's been asking about the light puzzle. The goated light puzzle. Gunder one to roost. The church is sealed up. <laughs> Wharton and Strauss Negative. are unreal. Nothing yet. But they sure have you seen Dan Strauss's Instagram? Holy shit. Sure. That's so much so. exciting oh, strength training on That's there. For sure. I love his I'll Instagram. In. And out. I reckon there's a lot of homosexually inclined individuals who absolutely love his Instagram. He's He's got a, a very particular chic. 
that a lot of people would enjoy. Who was my least favourite commentator? Mm. Oh, of all time, Vinny Shawman. His voice is annoying. He chose his biases immediately. He's a Muay Thai commentator. And he, he's like, mute the fight now type commentator. There's bad commentators, I'm talking about, who are livable. And I can leave him there. That's fine. But Vinny Shawman is awful. But yeah, Dan Strauss built like a brick shit house. Destroy the tombstone. Now. What about Gil Gil Boldgurg? I've not seen any Gil Boldgurg. Hmm. Who you got if Rod Tang and Superbon reschedule their fight? Superbon, he's like three weight classes up, isn't he? Destroy a grave, so kick it open, double tap this. Ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. Goat. Sam Art is the goat. Ooh. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this, but I enjoy it. Ooh. I don't... I don't know what this relates to the puzzle, because I wasn't paying full attention, but I'm enjoying this. That is a very interesting break. Mm. You know, like, you're just hitting it there and it's coming through the hole. I've not seen that kind of break before, because games are full of breakables. Resident Evil, breakable. Hello, Hype MMA. How be do you? That's a nice breakable, like breaking through the hoop. Ladders are... I mean, I should check the door. Oh, wow, I think I'm at an all-time high. 11. What are your thoughts on Chris Leroy Duncan? I need to watch more of him. But yeah, he's brilliant. He's very brilliant. Mark Weir, the whole... Mark Weir is also a top G. You need to watch Mark Weir's knockout at UFC 38. That's a brilliant one. A pest from outside has gotten the Earl. Has owe me for the in real life. Locker in the choo-choo. Keep the torch on. The key will be held in the cave on the other side of the... Del Lago, basically. Blake. They're going to mix him up. More surprises. But yeah. But yeah, that hook kick into just straight... Straight lead knockout is something spectacular. Keep it locked in. Yeah, everyone knows. That's a spectacular knockout. On a spectacular event. The event where famously Genki Sudo fought Lyra Medios. And Genki Sudo... Well, Lyra Medios cardio, corner gave the best advice that I've ever heard. They said... Whenever he does one of those silly things, then you combinate, which is brilliant. Christian Leroy Duncan, one of the only middleweights with aesthetically pleasing striking. I agree with that. Middleweight striking sloppy, but I like it. Duplicis versus Derek Brunson. That was hella fun. That was brilliant. That was one of my favorite fights. First round, it's like they've both watched. Let me go down there. Brilliant game design. Didn't have these problems in 2005. Oh, there we go. What was I about? Oh, yeah. Brutal Japanese catch wrestling, and they're going for toe holds, rolling around, gassing themselves out in a very entertaining fashion. Second round starts, and it's like they've watched Street Beefs all day. Great fight. People who are laughing at that fight don't know nothing. Goat striker of the middleweight division all time. Elias Theodoru. Rest in pineapple. Would you like Jack Slack as a commentator? He used to do these videos like alternative commentary. And I'd rewatch the fights just for alternative commentary. How does he take a full headshot? That's not very pound for pound of him. Jack Slack's brilliant. Don't explode that barrel, I might need it. But yeah, he used to do these alternative commentaries that were fucking brilliant. But then again, it probably just works out better for him to do podcasts. 
Ui, ah, and I still took the dog. I can't wait for the water room. Cuidado, what does that mean? He said it twice. The weapon swap is so fucking slow. Why is it, Why add a hot switch in this game if it takes 12 years? Amateur fights, I had like five junior Muay Thai fights. And six amateur MMA. And this guy, fuck off. I have had a lot less. People are having ridiculous amounts these days. And they're getting sponsored, they've got banners out. Fucking crimson heads. Whereas I was just like, I had two of those fights in the space of one week. Not that guy. Favorite exercise for increasing power. So, like, it's a strength. Oh, man. In terms of a um, training exercise, bloody fuck. In terms of training exercise, I would say doubles. Just set your feet heavy. Set your feet heavy on the floor, right in front of the bag or one of the bullseye shields, and just doubles. It, you don't have and do less movement because the tendency is to want to move more and more and more and more. You uh, you don't really practice gripping the floor. Watch a lot of Canelo trainer footage where they just grips into the floor and then goes. Um, in terms of punching power exercises, the main exercises, anything heavy and bilateral is really good. Deadlifts, squats, brr, brilliant. Uh, core, band chops, medicine ball throws, and pale off press because it's like punching power is not just a factor of movement but also being able to resist motion on impact oh jesus awesome. if you look at Stu McGill research who is the top G of spinal core movements fucking hell he did a study of Muay Thai athletes and he did two training programs for different groups. Fucking hell, I wish these would stop crimson heading. Oh, nice, no, but. And he did two groups. One group was doing what they call dynamic core work. So I think medicine ball throws, banded chops, V ups, stuff where there's movement, basically. And the other was doing isometric core exercise, but not just sitting on a plank for like two minutes. They were doing more like anti rotation. So what's that like? You res put your arms out, but there's a, uh, a band giving you resistance, and you just resist it. Uh, torsional buttress, where you just go from one side to the other on the floor. Fucking this guy. And that's that's really good for the moment of impact, because when the moment of impact for a strike, everything contracts again. And any small leakages within the kinetic chain. When they, one, there can be an injury risk. But they can also... It's less force going into them. And the force is going into you. Which is what you don't want. You want it all going into them. It's like a double pulse. So you've got this double pulse. You need to contract your muscles hard to make the movement occur. But... You don't want to... Uh, Stay contracted because that'll just resist the movement. Bloody fuck! How can I get stunned off of that full side of the body off like Resident Evil 2? So you got to contract, relax, contract on impact. <laughs> Favorite lightweight MMA fight ever? I'm gonna go. Ooh. Before we get into like legitimate greats, we're talking about. I'm going to talk about 
the most underrated lightweight fighters ever. So, oh, just personal favorites. The Su the Studios of my lightweight list. I'm going to talk about. That, a lot of them aren't fighting now, and it's very sad. But Garam Katadzaladze. Demir is Magalov. He's not fighting anymore. That's tragic. And my favorite underwears man, David Tamer. David Tamer is brilliant, man. Oh, Smooth Benson Henderson was a hero for me. Hero for, like, Smiggle Twins training at the gym. Everyone loved Benson Henderson when I was watching him. Yeah, Benson's always great. He's still tied for title defenses. He's still tied. People talk about Khabib, this and that, and Khabib was more impressive, downright. But Benson's still tied. But yeah, there were three that are underappreciated due to the annals of time that went away prematurely. Demir Ismagalov. Oh, so good. Underwears, man. David Turner, one of the best left kicks in the history of the sport, mixed martial arts. And I actually forgot who was going to... TJ Grant. Remember when Junior Dos Santos got that wheel kick on Mark Hunt? And Mike Love Tyson was there? Big enough to use this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fucked. But remember when Dos Santos wheel kicked Mark Hunt for this amazing knockout? But then Mike Tyson was there and he said, no, nah, that's not knockout of the night. Blue medallions more. Mike Tyson was like, yeah, TJ Grant gets a knockout. Oh. Does a flash grenade set still work? I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for it. It might waste a flash. But if I know Resident Evil 4... Oh, it does work. Fuck you with two rifle bullets. Where's the dogs at? Do you think Pahera could be a double champ? I think he could beat... He could beat Jerry and Jamal. A hundred percent. That would be the most righteous double champ ever. Too much there. Favourite fighters were... They don't sound too bad. Sean Woodson doesn't sound bad. Oh, so much coin. If they fucked the strap, man. But they didn't. There's times I keep considering, oh, they're going to fuck this up. They're going to fuck this up. But they don't. This, It slaps and it's tight like a nice flat wire. There's a go on it. I'm remembering it closer. Double champion glory in UFC would be crazy. Yeah, he'd be coming after triple C's. Combat sport goatage, even though Payakaroon, somehow Payakaroon is arguably there. Do I need a key for this? No, I mean, I'll need the boutique key. Right, somehow Payakaroon, legendary, legendary, legendary. Would you ever fight Michael Johnson? Of course I'd fight Michael Johnson. Of course. I was wondering what would break for us. Expecting Walker to KO Smith. I don't know what's going to happen in that fight. Anthony Smith's going to go into the Anthony Smith position, which is bow on heels, knees on the floor, clinging onto someone's wrist, and the other guy is going to be too tired to do anything. What's the type of kebabies that I like? What kebabs do you like? I'm a chicken kebab man. Hexagon, PCA. There's a fucking lift? What the fuck? Smith chins Walker. There are enough weapons here to get a party going. Likely, likely. Oh, do they still allow the RPG in this? Oh. Instead of letting your unused guns collectors, why not sell them? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Welcome. I got something new for but yeah, Walker versus Smith. Interesting. I don't know who I'd want. Uh, well, I'd want Walker, because Smith is... Someone just rubs me wrong about him. Pe 
I've said no Darius every time someone's asked me that. That's our choice Ooh, a sapphire? Can I stick that in? Grab yourself a viper. Well done, stranger. I'm kind of waiting for another type of jewel. Anything get oh, fucking treasures. I haven't even been looking for them. <laughs> remember remember Smith's absolute nonsense about how they should put some pay-per-view of him in a room and give uh, Andrew Tate a knife oh yeah the treasure Anthony Smith also said John Jones wasn't good see if someone who gave him a proper fight said that Okay, you you were allowed, but he didn't give him a fight. It was so bizarre. Like OTC, where the fuck did this lift go? This is gonna take me to some fucking John Wick crazy shit. There's a loading screen. It's PS5, so that must be weird. <laughs> Anthony Smith is invincible to nice to knife damage. It's a re I'm having really good fun with this remake so far. I mean, I'm only on 1-3 so far. Destroy the pirates and shoot for the high school. I'm talking... Anthony Smith <laughs> saying John Jones' IQ is low. Fight IQ is low. John Jones has arguably the greatest fight. He has the highest fight IQ of the light heavyweight division. Fight IQ is... It's something to marvel at, whether you like him or not. What, what the... F what the fuck are the pirates on about? I, I never realised the pirate theme of Resident Evil. Rely too much on a single weapon and you'll find yourself... Three, two, one, begin! Is that a sailor or a pirate? Oh no, that's a pirate, definitely. Fucking Paris. What does that do? Good day. Hello, Bob Bob. Robert Robert. Robert oh. That's some heavy fucking recoil. I was a deep fish there. Shit. <laughs> Just shouting shit. What's the worst name you could give your kid? Keith, probably. I can't be asked with this. No one plays this for shooting minigames, fuck hell. So Harry lost his fight with Sha well Harry had to pull out of his fight with Shao Yusuf, who ended up fighting Brave that same weekend because of a neck injury. I have something I think you like. So someone went for a wizard throw on him and he, his hands come. weren't free to base so he landed on the top of his head. You, and uh Gerald Mia shot. That's, <laughs> that is a very bad name. Uh, what is the best name for damage reduction if someone's well, called yeah, Mia Shard. Mia Shard's a pretty tragic second name. But if you had to give someone a... Is it worth repairing this? Deserves, oh. Ooh. Yeah, well, let's Try just do that. I don't know what the best name you could give someone called Mia Shard to damage mitigate. Your weapons are in good hands, mate. I'll see you. Mm. Hype MMA has a fetish for UK fighters. I mean, what if he's just a UK guy? Stinky Mario Bunda. <laughs> that real. 
That's not real. Did I just save? No, I didn't, evidently. I probably shouldn't have saved. Which way are we going? Down the hole. I'm tapping with Bob Bob. I don't know what's happened with Roberto, Roberto. Any other fights this weekend that I should be peeling, peeling my eyes for? Because I am aware of the UFC card. Tyson me a shot. Weirdly enough, I think that does kind of help. But are there any other fights that I really should keep my eyes peeled? Oh, yes. Font versus Giannis. Font wins round one but gets KO'd. Easy prediction. Am I supposed to come down here? Brother, do you know bechamel sauce? Yes. Very thick. Divine Greek thickness. You've got font. I mean, he is more experienced, actually. This is interesting. Where the fuck do I go? Oh, yeah. Then. Don't I need a boat? I don't just jump into the river, is it? It's not demon souls. But yeah, Font's gotten a lot of a lot of wear and tear on him, so uh, But Yanis is such a boy. I'm going Yanis for this one. Where the fuck I would treat myself if I knew where to fucking go. Any other fights in any other sports? Kickboxing, Muay Thai, boxing, or other MMA? Combat Americas? Anything else going on? Oh, they're going to feed this boy. They're going to feed this boy to the koi carp. Font wallop. Font whooped Ricky Simone. Yeah, Ricky Simone's really good. But any other fights anywhere in the world? Normal vs. Haggerty, Haggerty is happening soon. Yeah, but is that this weekend? Marlon Moraes' downfall is pretty tragic. Yeah, it's also just... Uh, be sensible. If you get knocked out, be sensible. Looks like there's something over there. It does look like something over there. Can't even afford a hot shot. Who, me? Depends where I'm from. A hot shot's like an extra quid. Loch Nairn versus Marias is tonight. Ooh, wouldn't it be interesting if Marias wins? I'm rooting for Loch Nairn, of course. Thiago Santos versus Robert Wilkinson. Um, that sounds like hard work to watch. Very tedious. The boat fuel is stored with the generator fuel inside the processing building at the fish farm. Take only what you need. Why are they adding a million steps? Just let me go on the boat and fight the fish. Oh, this bit. This is one of my favorite bits of the game on the original. I sent you stinky Mario Bunda on Insta. <laughs> oh, one of these guys. Is there a goal promotion? UFC? I want to fight... I want to fight for CEX when CEX starts. Good. I have a fish and chip shop in a fish... In a fish and chip shop... Oh, fuck. I'm, I completely forgot what... Yeah, UFC. But if... If a promotion was to be started by CEX, I would fight in that.
I can't wait until CEX starts to fight for Ocean. Why are there two? Why is he teabagging? Because I was trying to evade. Carhalio, Carhalio, Carhalio. I've got a brown egg. I think I need to use a lot more ammo. Bollocks. I thought someone was mentioning they had a, a fish and chip shop in Middlesbrough that I could add to my list. Then we'd be able to visit you at the fish and chip shop. We could eat fish and chips. And it'd be like sucking each other's dicks. But no, you tore that from me, didn't you? I hate these horse people. These horse people are like Sekiro enemies or something. Like, what the, why does it just keep spinning? It's fucking... If only I could think of a fighter who just kept spinning. Like Yair. Yeah, yeah. You think... Yeah, he's got a chance. That's a tough fight for both of them. What is this nonsense? Why is he doing that? The controls in this game fucking suck. Why does he keep quick turning? Oh, yeah. Why can't I want money? Who's the real fight? Money fight me. This is a mess. Ooh, I got a bass though. Don't make it sounds like that. I need to craft some shit. Craft? What is this? This game does not need crafting. Like stream chat. There's a lot of technological words people have been using as of recent. What is the plot of Resident Evil? Like, from the start? Um. So, some people get lost in the woods trying to fix... Trying to save some people who got bitten and reportedly eaten. Another team goes in to help them, but dogs chase them into a mansion. As they do. And then they don't go outside because there's dogs outside. There's like three dogs and it doesn't matter how many weapons they pick up from the mansion. They don't go outside. Flips and flops. There's a guy who's like... It was an evil scientist, but he's the leader of the team. Making tyrants. It's just general progressions of people making bioweapons that are less effective than a relatively cheap rocket, rocket launcher on. I'm in a very comfortable pose here. Back gets stiff. I need a beanbag. I came from this way. Bollocks. Now you can see my washing. And the door. Of things that you don't ask is behind. Too much cash. It's coming too fast. Tell me. What am I going to do with all this? Let's have a palm or orgy tonight. That. It's better. That sounds like a very painful way to have an orgy. Is chicken skin the best part of the chicken? Mm, you know what? <laughs> nah, you know, people go chicken skin, chicken skin, but nutrition wise... I, I like the... Chicken breast, there's no skin in a palm oil. 
There's no chicken skin in the pond. Ooh. Yeah, no chicken skin in the palm, huh? And that's the best way to have chicken. Okay. The best part of a chicken is the oyster. If we're talking about a foot. I shot that thing. Fish and chips give me autism. Yeah, but now you can remember things a little bit easier, possibly. I don't know how it works. What give you the mercury? If you're eating fish, should stick to the. Uh, oh, that should we? Should stick to the smaller fish that don't live that long. Big fish. The longer they live, the more they build up mercury. The more they build up the pollutants so sardines they're your best friends sardines little mackerel I was watching one of these consumer TV shows talking about the level of mercury and uh, pollutants in fish and what fish you should limit your consumption of and it was saying limit your consumption of shark to twice a week I'm like, oh thanks what am I going to do for meal prep now? I fucking love a sardine. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shot the bleeding head off this guy. I was shooting the bleeding head off him. What? That shouldn't stun me. A boxer beats a kickboxer in a kickboxing fight. Of course not, you f div. Go watch Remy Bondaski versus Ray Mercer. He kicks him once in the head. And then Ray Mercer taps out. Because it's just different. Doesn't matter how tough you are. Have you ever broken someone's limb before? I don't think so. Stay energized. Or energized here? Sure, you have better, some, better stuff to do on a Saturday afternoon. I don't think... They've got that little to do where they're going to watch me play a remake of a game that probably didn't re really need a remake. Viper. Oh yeah, I guess it's not Last of Us. That's ridiculous. That did not need a remaster remake. Oh, you got, you got me hopes up that the Energized boys were here. But, like I initially thought, it's a Saturday. It's 3 o'clock. They've probably got stuff to do. Callan Lochran's a good fighter, yeah. He was having a beef with these absolutely chonged idiot hotel staff members in uh, Greenwich. Give me that fish. Give me that snake. Much easier to shoot the snakes. Oh, yeah, yeah, coño. Why do I have so many fucking grenades? Why are the vipers taking up room in my inventory? Just cage George's drug test? Nope. Interested in another what? Let's say we have another. Jamal MMA series. What's the Jamal MMA series? User getting... I'm all sorts of left behind with what's going on in this chat. Too much cash. When I fought who I'm just like, yeah, they're juiced. Because I like to believe in the good in people. And when people go, he's juiced, he's juiced. I'm like innocent until proven guilty. But. Now then, now then. I'm not sure if I know anyone who. Harry's fought some people where I'm like, yeah. Them's a juicer. But I don't think I've ever fought on. Uh, fought anyone juiced. 
Thoughts on a tag team MMA fight? Mm. Tag team would be more interesting than the usual, because team MMA is just until one team loses one member, then it's just it's over. This is what I'm talking about. Cage Warriors actually knows how to matchmake into something interesting. Uh, I mean, it'd be two George Hardwicks against one in Ghana, wouldn't it? But then again, my doppel my doppelganger could get chinned very quick. I wonder what. The, what's the best strat if you've cloned yourself to fight in Ghana? What's the best strat? Ooh. Go back some shells. <laughs> what was your? <laughs> yeah, that was weird when Pasquale was wearing running shorts. You're all serious for the fight, and then suddenly he's rocking up in a pair of Nike whatever's you call them. I can't even go back that way. That's a bit nonsense. Yeah, cage warriors. You get stacked cards all the time. I respect anyone who wears running shorts to fight in. Rani Yaya in the WEC was a good one. Grappling legend, Rani Yaya. He wore some good... He wore some nice pocket shorts in the WEC. Boy, I love me some Rani Yaya. Where am I going here? What's happened here? I feel like that's something I should have picked up or maybe have picked up and don't realize. It all looks less memorable. I don't know where I've gone. Friday and Saturday cards in the same week. Well, like the double headers in the trilogies that they haven't done in a while. <sighs> Where the fuck am I going in here? Why have enemies spawned back here? Did I pick a key up? I picked up fuel, didn't I? What is the fuel for? Do you nap in between sessions? Sometimes. Tell Graham to bring it back. I'm going to ask Graham where the fuck I'm supposed to go. So I've got some boat fuel. I've got some sta- How many snakes can you fucking have? That's not an unpopular opinion. That opinion is popular with me. Arnold Allen beats Max Holloway. Max Holloway might have might have been some fuse letting him to redo the schmoogity woogities. Is this stuff in here? Yeah, I've got that already. Have I fought outside the UK? I have fought in... I fought in Ireland. I uh, fought in Italy. Italy was weird as. I was locked in a... Locked. I was in a hotel room for... Nice trade. I was locked in a hotel room for like a full week before the fight because of bizarre quarantino laws. So I've got some boat fuel. There's a lady over there who's just jumped away from me. This is the hardest puzzle game known to man. What was that? If Arnold Allen breaks his hand again? I didn't even know Arnold Allen had broke his hand that much because he's had loads of fights. He's not like I had loads of time between fights. Normally you think someone broke the hand loads. Did Bellator ever try and keep me? Nah. They were laying off people left, right and centre. I wasn't fully signed either. I was one fight contract. But they were laying everyone off at that point. Euro series. Euro series failing. Pandemic. Fuck knows what was going on with them. Do you like Jonathan Martinez as much as you like Jack Slack? I've never heard of Jonathan Martinez. Arnold Allen breaks his hand every fight. Not surprising, he likes to loop his hooks. 
And when you loop hooks, through on loopy hooks, in combination, you tend to hurt what you're hitting with. Tend to. The hand tends to like a straight punch. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can't. You? Why have I got so many fucking snakes? Can I use... Can I eat snakes? Bum, 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 bum. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 bum. What a thrill. With darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. I'm searching and melting to you. What a fear in my heart. That you're so supreme. I give my life. Not for honor. But for you, in my time. Andrew Tate got released. Uh, good for him. I'm glad no one's been trafficked. Biggest regret in my career. I don't have any regrets yet. No? Jack looked a little toby 145. Yeah, but it doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be worse for it. You don't have to be fucking ripped to your dick. You don't have to be as ripped as your uncle's rut to be a, at your optimal fighting form. Del Lago. PFL card looking good tonight. Up to Brendan Lochner. Will you catch the AJ fight? AJ fight? I couldn't give a fuck less about the AJ fight if someone... Offered me free kebab to watch the AJ fight. Bren Lockman is an interesting fight though. Because Marius is old, but then Lockman's hit him. To see what happens. Is Heartbreaker going to be a walkout forever? Probably. I picked that song because it was in a car chase in the film Nobody. Nobody's a really great film with Bob Odenkirk and other people who exist. Fucking fish. Yeah, that was a sick head kick. He says the training for that film kept him healthy when he had his heart attack. What would you be your game plan if you had to fight a kangaroo? That's fucking tricky, you know. Because the tail acts as an extra leg. I guess you've got to faint and draw it out and then go. If you just walk in, you walk into its biggest power. Look at that low frame rate water. Fucking hell. Who wins prime? Run the IO prime, so Duffy. Uh, Build a freeze wins again. Marlon's chin is more brittle than a triple cup calm tar brick. What the fuck? I reckon a triple cup caramel breast would be quite, quite firm. No. My heart wants a hood though. I feel like Aljo might get some sort of decision. My heart wants a hoodle. Did I say that the right way around?
Fucking Del Lago, man. I hope they haven't made this difficult. Jesus, that's a big comment. Keep your... I'm trying to fight a fish. And you're writing a 200 word essay. Do I give you 200 word essays when you fight a salamander? No, you don't. No, I don't. Mild amounts of blood in the water. Ah, oh, this is a mess. I hope this isn't hard because it's hardcore. How long can this boss fight go on for, please? Where'd you go? Sandhagen was very, very clever with that performance. I actually couldn't see the full fight though. I recorded it and it only recorded two rounds. Then the program skipped out. Which reminds me, I need to set some stuff to record. This has gone on too long. Do you get extra points for hitting it in midair? I hate this boss fight. This fucking boss fight is so tedious. I'd like George and my dad. No, you wouldn't. You get great porridge, but I couldn't. I couldn't tell you anything useful. If being a good father was. What the fuck is happening here? You're trash for having that opinion. What is going on? This fucking boss sucks. I don't want to play this boss. But I feel like there's going to be so much good game hitting behind. Oh. Cheesy chips and garlic is better. Are you fucking five? This is the most tedious boss fight. Mm, favorite pot noodle flavor, Bombay bad boy. The, the spiciest pot noodle, the better. I like a raw pot noodle. I hate this boss fight. Now. What about cheesy Charlie? That's a, that's a strong one there. Cheesy garlic bread with Donna. You've redeemed yourself. That's a solid one. Think you can swallow me whole, huh? As a side, you can't... Because it's a side dish. You can't say chips and garlic. is better than a pommel. Roast beef is best monster munch. What game is this? This is a remake of a game that didn't need a remake. Dalton breakfast sandwiches? I don't know, I'd rather just spread my breakfast out. If you've got time for breakfast, why not? It's like... There's places do breakfast burritos, I'm like, just give me the breakfast. And let me organise it to my own preference, rather than trying to... become fucking Del Lago over here like some giant salamander and throw a massive breakfast in my mouth all in one mouthful. Parmel burgers are high, high level. And you can go somewhere with a shit parmel, but if they do a parmel burger, the parmel burger is still nice. 
As Paddy the Baddy had a pommel. So here's a story. After I beat Chris Bunga, Paddy was there commentating, and we all get on the bus back to the hotel. Where the fuck is the fish? We all get on the bus back to the hotel, and Abdul has managed to secure... My coach, Abdul Muhammad has managed to secure a pommel. And I'm on the bus, buzzing, because this is the first time I've had a fight. A pommel immediately after a fight. London, you can't get him. But he's managed to secure one. Expecting a really nice, delicious... Golden pommel. And I go to show Paddy the pommel, and it's... I don't know what's happened to the pommel. Someone's literally diarrhea chili flakes all over it. It still tastes nice, but it looks like us Because... It's just covered in brown chili flakes. It's not the golden brown beauty that we want to see. So I go to open the box. And I'm like, oh, look at this, because we've talked about it for a while. I show him it. Um, and he's like, lad, what the fuck is that? Because it looks like diarrhea on some fried chicken. I don't know who the chef was. What's fucking wrong with that. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. Fair trade, fair trade. Oh, I hate this boss fight. But yeah, he's like, lad, what the fuck is that? Lad, what the fuck is that? Because it's covered in peppers and chilli. And it looks like diarrhea. And, um... I was expecting a nice golden brown power. It still tasted banging, and I just sat there eating it with my bare hands on the bus. Uh, uh. Oh... Not long now till farmer time. Good two weeks. By then, I might have finished this boss. But it does suck. I mean, at least I'm getting some fucking hits in it now. If I had never seen one before, and the first time someone showed me one, it was like chili flake diarrhea all over it. I would have said it to him so. And I, I was kind of like, oh, I can't believe they've done this. I can't believe they've done this. I ate so much the next day after that. I had... Crayfish and lobster on chips. I had a full Christmas dinner on chips. I had takoyaki. I hate this boss fight. All kinds of sweet nonsense. I think. Uh, I have to get on to you by design. We haven't got wrong to doing anything for him. Yeah. Those are crazy post-fight days in terms of eating. I might not even do it that long. Because as I'm getting older, the digestive tract is not... It's not as enjoyable. I hate how this is the hardest part of the game, and it's not actually the game's gameplay mechanics, it's some fucking shit minigame. This puts me off. I'm never doing a professional playthrough with this fucking game.
I mean, it's letting me hit him easier. Is that adaptive? Garlic sauce is John John's sauce. Yeah, you can't really beat garlic sauce. Please just let me win. This boss sucks. A million dicks in a row. What's the gear spot? It's fucking shit salamander boss. Rest in peace again. O2 Blue, that's a, that's a new picture. Haven't recognised you there. Stupid cutting. Be asking when my next fight is. Read the title, Pandejo. I might have beat this boss by then and got back to the alright decent bits of the game. It's egregious how hard they've made this. Compared to it in the original. This bit fucking sucks. Any country you fight, you fight, fancy fight again? I'd like to fight in Dublin again. Mm. I don't know. Not very far, is it? Ah. Eastern Europe all looks very interesting, but obviously it's not like any relevant promotion goes there. Would you fight Otis for a tenner? I'd. I'd pay ten pounds to fight Otis. You have seen middle for stadium. Now doggy market, we're gonna get some chairs up doggy market. Big clock in the background like it's a Tekken stage. By twenty twenty five I'll still be fighting this fucking shit boss. Why is that? Why am I taking that with that? Current UFC roster? I'd like to fight. Oliver is a boy. This fish fucking sucks. Where'd you go? Let me get to the actual bit of the game. This is really no good. I was all hyped about how much time I'm going to get to play in Resident Evil 4 this weekend, and it's fucking shite. Jan Leas has got a lot of submissions. He's got like five submissions on the record. He's got a lot of rear naked chokes. I never played the Incredibles game, but that's a golden era of licensed games for PS2. I'm assuming it's PS2? Maybe PS3. Just why? Oh, finally. Thanks for... Quick time? PS2. That's the console. You can't beat the PS2.
I don't I would I'd like to try a bit of horse meat, you know. Big black whoops him. He's got he's got no leg right now. Too much scared. Well that was a tedious struggle. Save game. My own stupid face covers the buttons at the bottom. It's not chapter 3, it's chapter 1 3. It's not chapter 4, it's chapter 2 1. Get it right. That's Aggie, the decision for Ian Sidari. Yeah, he's a boring cunt, isn't he? Is that Saddler? That's some of the shittiest Saddler voice acting I've heard. Favorite milkshake flavor? Big banana. I don't just like banana, I like big banana. Banana's the one. Banana or cookie dough? Ooh, banana. Fake banana, you can't beat the flavor. Fake banana is better flavor than uh, real banana. Thoughts on Liassi as a opponent? Very dangerous. Explosive. A lot of weird little tendencies. Hard to find loads of footage of them though. Mm. Glad that's out the way. I don't want to do that again. So I'll probably Condor never come. Roost. Do you read me? But I'm a flavor of anything. Why not? Fake yeah. banana flavor is amazing. Won't let it happen again. And the church? I'm still looking for whatever key I need. Copy that. I'm glad you're okay. Bruised out. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's... Homeboy's hat. Stinky hat. Hmm. Yeah, fake banana is top tier. Both of the comments in the Yasu fight said boring. Yeah, one of them he fought a guy called Magomed vs. Magomed Magomedov. Which is, if you've been born and you're called Magomed Magomedov, you've got no choice other than to be a wrestler. Yeah, he's fought good promotions. Brave, KSW. Really nice promotions. Oh, I think that's an all-time high, isn't it? Fifteen. Fifteen people who should really do something. Magomed Magomedov? Is it really? No, I'm thinking... It's... Nah, he's not called Magomed Magomedov. You, do, you did fight someone called Magomedov who wrestled him a lot. I'm getting my brain confused. Oh, for Jesus Christ, why have I got all these fish? Why is there no space and nowhere? Can I craft something with this? Fuck's sake. It's the same guy? Oh, I didn't even realize. Yeah, a different Magomedo. I reckon Magomed Magomedov is just like John Smith. Same rules apply? No? Get off. Mashallah. Good fight in the UFC would be Drew Dober. Man, that's got he's got the most Chad Jaw in the existence of Chad Jaws. The accuracy in this game sucks. How does this game have worse accuracy than a PS2 game? A second. Oh yeah, right.
This isn't the cabin chapter, is it? No. Next chapter would be cabin. It's cool. No, all the Magomedovs might be the same guy anyway. Every Magomed Magomedov in the world is either a wrestler or head of a fan club for the Carpenters. Multi money and one barrel. Sick. God, weekends are boring. What is this place? How do people live for the weekend? Nothing fucking happens on a weekend. Some kind of shrine. Same mark from the church. You two give me a warning for cats. I won't say that. Ask her, ask her off, just adding two letters. Is this the key? What the fuck do I need here? Mmm, I'm flicking out here. It's the lake. It's yeah, that's the Hideo Kojima naming method. Where the fuck am I? Investigate the two locations. Oh man. I'm starting to get a headache. Old way shrine key? <laughs> Mario, shit. Ian Machado, Barry, Gary, Dos Santos. I think I've got a small key. I don't know, I'm flicking out here a bit, so that boss fight's taken out of me. I'm gonna zip off, I think. Some new items in stock. Have a little look first. Got some rare things Sell you these vipers before I forget. You're a real professional. Mm. A deal well struck. <laughs> yeah. I think this is me for the, the time being. Oh yeah, case upgrade. So, thanks everyone for tuning in. I'm going to lie in a dark room and look at the ceiling. One of my favourite things to do. Cheers, lads. I hope you enjoyed. How do I finish this thing? Or are we trapped in endlessness? 1 hours 30. Did I save that? Def I'm double checking I've saved this because I don't want to fight that shitty boss again. Remember to fist me at Manchester. Fist bump? Yeah. Fist. I don't know. I'd need a lot of money for that. Thank you for tuning in. You could have done so much on this Saturday. You could have been very successful people. But you watched me. Goodbye. <laughs>